You say that there's a metropolitan church. You say that there's a pastor who reads the Word of God, who believes the Word of God. You say there's a pastor at the Metropolitan Community Church who preaches the Word of God. He loves the Lord, he loves God, but yet he makes a mockery of the Scriptures. The Bible clearly says that God hates sin. He hates all adulterers. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ said that if anyone were to look at another with lust in their hearts, they committed adultery already in their heart. God hates sin, all adultery. God hates all fornication. God hates all homosexuality. Homosexuality is a sin and an abomination against God. God. The Bible says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor coveters, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You cannot commit sins of such a nature and inherit the kingdom of God. God condemns such sin. God loves you, but he hates your sin. He then goes on to say, and such were some of you. At one time they were sinners, they were revelers, they were effeminates, they were adulterers, but something changed in their lives. They repented of their sins. He says, but you are now washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins, turn from your wicked ways. Homosexuality, adulterers, effeminates, Fornicators shall not inherit the kingdom of God. If you believe the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, of which he spoke in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, he said, don't you know that from the beginning he created them male and female, and he joined them together to be man and wife, and they were to be fruitful. You know, when God made Adam as a male, he saw that he was without a helper, without help meet. And so God made for Adam a wife, Eve, that they may become joined together as one and, per and come together to have children. And he said that they would leave father and mother and become as one flesh. I'm here to say today that God did not want man to be without a helper. God did not want woman to be here without a helper. For man, he created a female, a woman for man. For the woman, he created man, that they would come together and help each other and be one in flesh and come together to have children. If you are so committed in your homosexual relationship, why would you ever want to have children? Because in your heart, you know that it's wrong. A homosexual relationship cannot have children. You have to go out of that commitment to have children. God meant it for man and woman to have children in holy matrimony. I beg you please to turn from your sins, to trust the Lord Jesus Christ, to believe in Him and to repent of your ways that God would not be mocked, that He would save you from your sins.